Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today, we're going to smell Aqua di Gio Profumo by Giorgio Armani. So as you can see from the fact that I got the box of a sample in my hand, I only have a sample of that fragrance. And they do show, it's kind of cut. I feel it's weird how they did it. The bottle over there, it's black and white. The top and the bottom of the box is cut there. The, there's nothing written. Usually there is a little text or something. There are ingredients and stuff at the back, but uh, there's no text, only the face of some random guy who might be famous and I don't know. But anyway, no more presentation than this. We're going to try to smell. You need to know it's also the first Aqua di Gio that I intentionally smelled. And what I mean with that is that, I mean, Aqua di Gio, the original, was so popular that I'm sure I was... I, I've seen someone wearing it and I smelled it before, but I never went to a store or got a sample or anything to try to smell it. And this is the first one I got and I got a free sample. So that's why I'm trying this one. On, on paper, the notes are really different than on my skin. The rosemary is really intense. It's the first thing that come to my nose. In the background, I get some C note, some bergamot, sort of like some aquatic note and some bergamot. Maybe some sage also, that's about it. Maybe some patchouli facet, but it might be something else interacting. It's barely there, I don't really smell it. And I, it might be my imagination on this one. That's about what I'm smelling. On my skin, there's two notes that are extremely strong. It's the aquatic note and the bergamot. The rosemary is still there in my skin. It's, it's present, but it's just like faint in the background. And there's the note of sage that is also really present. And those notes are pretty much the whole life of the fragrance. Longevity of the fragrance is normal, like three to six hours. And projection though, it's good. It's like in a closed bubble around you, people will be able to smell you. And for me, it's nice and it's elegant. I don't think that aquatic fragrance are so much elegant, but this one, I would say it's elegant for an aquatic fragrance. So for the complete note breakdown, top notes are bergamot and aquatic notes. Hard notes are geranium, sage, and rosemary. And the base note are patchouli and incense. And, you know, I say there's incense and there's a lot of people that say that they smell the incense, but I don't really find that there's incense. Maybe somewhere in the dry down at some part, you know, I'm not smelling it every, every minute. Maybe there's at some point for a short period of, period of time. There's incense. Also, maybe, you know, skin react differently. As I said, rosemary is super strong on paper and it's just kind of barely there on my skin. So maybe my skin don't make the incense note go strong. But uh, a lot of people say that the incense note is strong on this particular fragrance. Now, where would I see it? As a business fragrance, it could be nice. Wouldn't be the best. It's elegant, but it, it lack a little bit of like being bold. It's, you know, it's a nice fresh fragrance that smells good, that's pleasing. And kind of there's an edge that is missing, even though I would say it's a little bit higher quality and higher like class than usual aquatics. So it's a nice aquatic. Aquatic is not so much my style, so I wouldn't put it high in business kind of fragrance. For dating could be nice. It's pleasing. It smells good. It's, you know, like the Aquadigio DNA that everyone likes. So it could be a nice for dating. For summer could be good. Aquatic perfume. They are made for this. 
for winter, it won't be really good, though it project well. So depending on what kind of winter you're having, if you live like in California where winter is like hot versus Canada, it can be nice for winter, but if you're having like a, you know, snow during your winter, it won't be good. And for an everyday fragrance, I think this is where it's at its best. The fact that it lasts half the day means that you need to have a bottle with you or a little, a little like travel spray that you bring at work if you want to smell that fragrance the whole day. Or maybe you're going to be lucky and it will last on you. But the smell is pleasing. It's good for every day. It's a little bit elegant, but it's not too much. So you can wear whatever you want with it and it will be good. Maybe if you're having a tuxedo, probably it won't be enough. But at the same time, it's, I don't know anyone that's wearing a tuxedo as an everyday kind of wear. So that's not so much of a problem. It's pleasing. It's inoffensive. It's nice and it's still elegant. So it could be good for pretty much any situation without being the best at any situation it will be good for any situation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, well like and share. If you have any opinion on that fragrance or if you have any other Equa Di Gio that you think smells really good and maybe better than this one, well, write it in the comment. I'll be really happy to hear from you. So thanks for watching and see you soon.